challenge for one free beverage. That's not bad. Now, Big Board Sports with Ashley Miller. Good evening, everyone. The Amsterdam Holiday College Showcase is synonymous with the holiday break. It's a two-day tournament that brings in some of the best girls high school basketball teams in all of the Northeast. The host team Rams kicked off the first of nine games today at Amsterdam High School, taking on Utica Notre Dame. Late in the fourth quarter, it's a three-point game. Sherazade Cooper makes a strong move to the bucket, and she's fouled the free throw. Makes it a six-point lead for the Rams. Amsterdam is led by Felice Fowler and Rosie Skulko, who have 11 points each off the inbounds. Fowler hits the jumper in the lane. Utica Notre Dame needs points quickly late, so they push the ball in transition. And Amani Jadwick scores. The Rams, well, they just need a stop to seal this with less than 30 seconds to play, and they get a big one. Ailani Alamon Rivera comes up with it, and she seals it for Amsterdam, who opens the tourney with a 58-52 win. I mean, we came out, we attacked, it was a fight. We had to keep attacking and keeping our energy, but I mean, we did a good job like fighting for breaking the streak. We knew it would be tough for us to um, to be able to hang with them and beat them because we've been struggling scoring, but uh, we scored enough. We played tough enough on defense to get it done. On the Count and Industry scoreboard, Shaker drops a low-scoring game to Simsbury out of Connecticut. Bethlehem gets a double-digit win over Bishop Ludden. Section 2 teams fared pretty well in this tournament. Colony takes down Warwick, and Shenandoah beats Brooklyn Law and Tech 66-54. to On the boys' side, at CBA, the brothers are hosting their own annual holiday tournament, taking on Utica Proctor in the second game of the night. CBA jumps out to an early first-quarter lead. The brothers take a liking to that near corner from three. Aiden Wine hits the triple and then shortly after that Matt Scambotti from almost the same spot wine and Scambotti each have 12 points tonight later on the ball gets poked away from Scambotti but it's right to Oreo Odatayo who spins stops and pops for two of his team high 14 CBA is up by seven after the first the brothers get the win 67 to 58 CBA will play Bethlehem in the championship game tomorrow the Eagles beat LaSalle Academy of New York City Karen Barnes and Cameron LeClaire each have eight 18 points in that one. The Albany men's basketball team had a few days off for the Christmas holiday, and now the Great Danes dive right back in with their toughest challenge of the season to date. Roger Wyland is on the road. It is hashtag Raj on the road, driven by CDTA. And Ashley, you Albany had a uh, practice at 6.30 here tonight at John Paul Jones Arena, where they will play Virginia tomorrow. Of course, they are coming in as the heavy underdog, but still an opportunity for these players to get the chance to play against the higher level and one of really one of the best teams in the country. Uh, it's huge, you know, it's a huge opportunity for our team to, you know, show up, uh, compete. Um, and, and for me, you know, uh, having have a brother that play here, uh, it's, it's kind of special for me to be able to play in the same place. So the biggest venues would be this one, uh, Rupp Arena last year, Kentucky, and then Kansas State. And it's just, you know, it's a cool experience. Uh, bigger crowds get to play a bigger school. Just a great opportunity for us to compete and just kind of see where we're at as a program. And then after tomorrow night, you get into the most important part of the schedule, and that is the America East Conference schedule on Saturday at HBCC against New Hampshire. In Charlottesville, Virginia with you, Albany, I'm I'm Roger Wyland for Big Board Sports. Thank you, Roger. And it's been more than two weeks since the RPI men's hockey team has been on the ice for a game. The engineers are back in town after some time away for the holidays and will jump back into non-conference play one final time this week before finishing the season strictly in the ECAC. RPI travels to Bowling Green on Thursday and Friday for two games with the Falcons. There are challenges to so much time away from the game, but a couple practices back in Troy will get the engineers right back in the swing of things. We haven't forgotten how to play. We haven't forgotten systems, but you got to play with your RPMs at such a high level. Um, that's the that that's the key to getting this thing rolling real fast. I know for me personally, it's it's really good to get away from the game a little bit, refresh, come back rejuvenated, and just with a lot of energy. And finally, Ryan Smith scores the game tying and game winning goals in the third period to give the Adirondack Thunder a 3-2 win over the Lions. The same two teams play again on Thursday. All right, not bad. I know you want to go to a Thunder game. I know, game. I've been to one and they're so much fun. They're and I've got the fun. cowbell. I That's love. what we need. Yeah. We need more cowbell. <laughs> Always. <Exactly. more> cowbell. <laughs> Always. And less weather. Uh, dropping down to the teens tonight. It's the last night that will drop down.